Chelsea Football Club corrects past mistakes and eventually rules the world. In the glitz and glamour of Abu Dhabi, Chelsea eventually filled the only empty space in their shiny trophy cabinet. A full house, finally. Ten years on from the defeat by Corinthians in the FIFA Club World Cup, Roman Abramovich watched on, in a rare appearance for the Russian owner, as the mistakes of the past were corrected and the title of world champions achieved in extra time by the man who scored the goal that got them here. Kai Havertz converted a controversial penalty, but this was far from an impressive performance. Thomas Tuchel had managed to make the last-minute dash to Abu Dhabi, out of isolation having missed the semi-final on last Saturday's FA Cup win over Plymouth Argyle. Their opponents wore green again, but that's where the similarities ended as Palmeiras, and their wonderfully fervent fans, provided the performance of the night. Chelsea lacked energy in the absence of their head coach, but even with the German on the touchline they were below par and his tactical tweaks were curious. Abramovich was able to see signs of why Chelsea had forked out £97.5 million on Romelu Lukaku in the summer as the striker put Tuchel's team ahead with a well-timed header. But he was brought off right at the very moment they required another goal. Callum Hudson-Odoi had provided the assist and been the standout performer in blue, but he, too, was replaced and the approach was puzzling. While the Mohamed bin Zayed Stadium may have been a neutral venue, the reality was an away day for Chelsea. Palmeiras supporters offered the kind of backing, a constant hum of noise in air filled with flare smoke, that assured their team, taunted by Brazilian rivals for this hole in their trophy cabinet, that they were taking this seriously. Palmeiras posed plenty of problems, especially with the counterpunch. Strong and disciplined in defense, attacking with vigor and zest. The lively Dudu offered plenty to concern Tuchel on the touchline, twisting and turning away from Cesar as Pilicueta to let fly with a shot that fizzed over Eduard Mendy's crossbar. Tuchel's first surprise was dropping Marcos Alonso for Hudson Odoi at left wing back, a decision that proved inspired as he emerged as the most influential figure in a first half with few highlights. Hudson Odoi's delivery created their two best chances, both headed harmlessly over the bar by Thiago Silva and Antonio Rudiger in stoppage time. Attempts to play through the South Americans proved unsuccessful, a solid white wall in the way every time Lukaku tried to turn into space. The big Belgium forward had been wasteful in against the far inferior opposition of Al Hilal, but took his only true opportunity. 10 minutes after the interval. The odds were against him, surrounded by three Palmeiras defenders in the penalty area and Hudson Odoi's left-footed cross came looping in, but Lukaku calmly powered his header beyond Weverton. The deficit failed to deter the South American support and they were rewarded with an equalizer that sparked ecstasy. Outrage surged through their countryman Silva. He had challenged Gustavo Gomez in the air and the ball glanced off his hand, unseen by the Australian referee Chris Beath, but a review of the touchline replay gave Rafael Vega the chance to score from the penalty spot. In front of the Palmeiras fans, Vega sent Mendy the wrong way, and the stand erupted. The wind was behind them and Vega could have put Chelsea in a storm. Danilo had danced round the defence and teed up his teammate, but the attempt didn't trouble Mendy. Neither goalkeeper was truly tested despite some decent opportunities. Havertz had skewed a shot wayward after a deft touch from a throw-in and Christian Pulisic, a first-half substitute for the injured Mason Mount, rolled wide after a lovely attack. Lukaku had been central to the move, but it proved one of his last acts in a curious decision by Tuchel. Chelsea's new top scorer was replaced by Timo Werner, while the largely ineffective Saul Niguez came on for Hudson Odoi. Abramovich, who had posed for selfies with supporters in the VIP section of the main stand, appeared less than impressed as the game lulled towards extra time. Another video review provided victory. As Pilicueta, Chelsea's captain and the only remaining member of the 2012 squad, hit a volley that struck the hand of one, later sent off for a foul on Havertz, and Beath went to the screen. Havertz showed the calmness seen in Porto last year to add the crown of world champion. Darman, Hudson Odoi. Chelsea Mendy 6, Christensen 6, Silva 6, Rudiger 7, Azpilicueta 6, Candy 6, Kavakic 6, Hudson Odoi 7, Mount 6, Havertz 6, Lukaku 7. Palmeiras, Weverton 6, Rocha 7, Gomez 7, Juan 7, Peak Res 7, Zay Rafael 7, Danilo 7, Dudu 7, Rafael Vega 7, Scarpa 6, Ronnie 6. Yellow Cards Palmeiras Wesley, Achuasta Chelsea Havertz. Red Cards Palmeiras Luan.